Hello everyone, I'm Peter Albrecht. And I'm Roseanne Haven. Thank you for watching. First on five, a man accused of shooting and killing his girlfriend in Pritchard was in court today. And we learn new details about the crime. Investigators say 30-year-old Terrence Martin shot his girlfriend Latoya Jones on September 10th and was caught in New Orleans nine days later. News 5's Amber Grigley joins us now. Amber, today you learned about a possible motive? Well, Roseanne and Pete, investigators told a Mobile County judge today that once Martin was arrested in New Orleans, he told investigators that he shot Jones because she wanted to break up with him. A heartbreaking reveal for Jones's family to hear of a devastating ad that is taking time to heal. It won't bring my sister back, but I believe in God, and I know he's going to heal us from that. A harsh reality for Tina Page Jimmery and her family as they sit in a courtroom hearing for the first time the moments leading up to her sister's death. I was devastated. I'm angry. I want to know why he did that to my sister. In a preliminary hearing, prosecutors revealed that they have the 911 recording from that day, stating that Jones called 911 before she was shot, telling the dispatcher that Martin said he was going to kill her. The detective later said they heard gunshots on the 911 recorded call followed by screams from her 15-year-old son who witnessed the entire tragedy. Not only his, her son, my mother, you know, had to stay there. On September 10th, 33-year-old Latoya Jones was shot in the head in her home on West Main Street in Pritchard, according to police. About one week later, on September 16th, Jones died from her injuries. Now, the man accused of shooting her, Terrence Martin, was later caught and arrested in New Orleans on the 19th. He ruined our whole family because of this. Once Martin was arrested in New Orleans, investigators say he told them that he shot Jones because she was trying to break up with him. Jimmery says the thought of her sister losing her life over this is not okay. But just because a woman don't want you anymore, it's not okay to kill a woman. Now, I did reach out to the DA office to see if I could get a copy of that 911 recording because this is an active case. They cannot release that at this time. As for Martin, he remains in jail facing murder charges, and the, 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 the judge today in court sent the case to a grand jury. But for now in Mobile, I'm Amber Grigley, WKRG News 5. Thank you, Amber. News